Hi, I'm Chris Ferguson, the pilot of Atlantis, STS-115, and you are watching NASA TV. Houston, air to ground one. Good morning. Brand, this wake up music, Moon River by Audrey Hebben, was selected for you by your wife, Janet. Morning, Houston. Uh, thanks for the music. Um, it really is a beautiful day up here. We're, uh, we're awake and uh, getting ready to get to work with the inspections. On the flight deck of Atlantis, uh, Commander Brent Jett, far left. Mission Specialist Dan Burbank uh, on the right, and uh, Mission Specialist Joe Tanner in the center. Coming out of the uh, recent rendezvous maneuver, the rendezvous burn uh, uh, of Atlantis as it continues to uh, refine its orbit in relation to that of the International Space Station. Uh, looking from the forward corner of the flight deck of uh, Atlantis, basically uh, from the commander's seat looking back uh, at the aft station. The primary uh, hand controller that will be used throughout the day uh, for the robotic operations is actually up in the center right portion of the picture between the two aft windows that look out into the payload bay. The hand controller uh, below the window in the center is actually used uh, primarily for the rendezvous uh, maneuvers that uh, when Brent Jett takes over manual control of Atlantis uh, on the final approach uh, to the International Space Station. And Joe Tanner uh, with the checklist uh, on his fourth voyage into space. And Dan Burbank uh, on the right uh, on his second flight into space. And Brent Jett, the commander, uh, out of view uh, on his fourth mission um, into space as well. Joe Tanner's uh, primary activity over the course of the next uh, hour or two will be to uh, uh, help with the video setup in preparation for the uh, orbiter boom and sensor system operations, the survey of uh, Atlantis's wing leading edges and nose cap. And Burbank will be assisting uh, pilot Chris Ferguson with the, uh, with the boom uh, activities as well as um, uh, Canadian astronaut Steve McLean in parallel with that activity once it gets underway um, uh, Tanner and um, Heidi Piper mission specialist uh, number three will be overseeing a checkout of uh, two of the spacesuits that they're carrying on board those spacesuits to be used uh, for the extravehicular activity Heidi Stephanishan Piper up on the flight deck uh, now on her first voyage into space.
And beginning uh, outboard, this is a view uh, of the underside of the wing leading edge. The reinforced carbon carbon is the uh, more smooth portion uh, with the uh, tile area just beneath uh, or just behind the wing leading edge panels. Again, the survey beginning on the outboard uh, portion of the wing. In the meantime, uh, Joe Tanner reporting from the mid-deck that uh, uh, the two spacesuits have been checked out. The EMUs or extravehicular mobility units uh, that will be used for the um, spacewalks. There are three spacewalks planned during this mission. Uh, the first of those three uh, will be conducted uh, on Tuesday, uh, the second uh, on Wednesday, and then the uh, third and final planned uh, spacewalk uh, scheduled for Friday. Space Shuttle Atlantis currently orbiting 212 uh, statute miles over Europe, catching up with the International Space Station with docking uh, scheduled for early Monday morning. This is the fifth of six scans along the port wing, looking at uh, the RCC, or reinforced carbon-carbon panels, uh, numbers 1 through 22 in uh, zones 4 and 5, which is the apex and just above the top of the wing. This is Mission Control Houston with a live view from the camera on the shuttle robotic arm during the survey, looking at uh, the starboard side of Atlantis. The uh, live video is expected to be intermittent, but the crew is recording this entire survey on board for uh, downlink if necessary. The jets of the uh, on the nose for the reaction control system are visible here. Part of the procedure of the survey at the beginning is to inhibit those uh, jets from firing, as the shuttle arm will be so close uh, to the to the jets.